bring more tax dollars back to this district. We need to fully fund public education at the state level so that our property taxes stabilize and that the, the local people are not being asked to fully fund or make up the difference for the, uh, for the public education system, which is going on right now. We also need to, to, to work with our small businesses. They also have to adapt to the changes in the, in the, uh, the workplace. The internet is, uh, is driving things now, and the, uh, the businesses have to realize that, and they have to change. We have to do something. Like I said, as far as fully funding the public education system, that would be a step in the right direction. And we also have to get more tax dollars back to the 39th district. We send our money down to Trenton, and we get very little back. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's a pretty dour uh, assessment by his councilman Falatico, but you know what he fails to tell you is it's the 19 years of control of his party that's created this. They've kicked the can down the road for 19 years. We have a school funding formula that's the, at the, the base of all of this. Mayor Berkner talked about the expensive cost of having a, a store or operating a store in, in a local municipality. Well, that's absolutely true, but the reason it's true is because our property taxes are so high, and then the people who are in the rental business have to try to recoup that, plus make a profit. This is why we're sitting here with vacant stores in the Westwood, vacant stores in some of the malls here, and we're competing with the internet, obviously. I mean, you can have somebody who's got a, a box operation in a cornfield out in Iowa and can deliver the product to you the next day and, and pay a rent that's maybe... Seven dollars a square foot, as opposed to paying rent up here thirty or forty dollars a square foot. This is what's making the the, the uh, small businessman pack up his his things and leave. Not only that, over and above these things, we have constantly added fees and taxes to to the small business people in the state and expect them to survive against these huge mega giant conglomerates. I mean, for example, I'm in the insurance business. How can somebody like me pay all these fees in New Jersey while Geico is out there in some someplace in the middle of the country paying a small uh, a bit of rent, and they're sitting there with a, a billion dollar budget against small businesses throughout the country? This is ridiculous. New Jersey especially. We are the worst in the state. The Welcome Act got rolled up many, many years ago. Thank you. Second question. <clears throat> How can New Jersey meet our energy needs while protecting our environment? For example, would you support energy conservation, expansion of renewal, renewable energy, hydraulic fracking, pipelines, etc.? Um, Senator Lawrence, please. 